Hello, Art2. Um, so today we are going to go on a virtual field trip. If the museums were open enough for us to go, I would hope that we would have been able to go, but unfortunately they are not. Um, so we are going to attend these exhibitions virtually. Um, Crystal Bridges has put up a virtual reality version of this exhibition, which is really cool. So I thought that we should utilize it in our classroom. Um, I have kind of three goals for this assignment. The first one is that we are looking at art and like consuming art and thinking about it. Um, I think that looking at art can give us a lot of ideas on what we like aesthetically. When, um, when I was in a high school here in Sound Springs, um, Mr. Francis and Ms. Zimmerman and Ms. Howie took us all to Crystal Bridges to see an, an exhibition on abstract expressionism. And that really stuck with me. And I loved the work. Like I'm a huge fan of that kind of painting. Um, but I didn't realize until I got into college that I really, really liked that because I'm very interested in like surface texture and um, texture in general and um, abstract work and color. So that seeing that exhibition really helped me out in realizing what kind of art that I like to create and what I appreciate in art. So I think that this can be a good kind of um, leaping point for you all to kind of look around and uh, maybe maybe some of you have been to exhibitions before. I hope you have, that's really cool. Um, but if you haven't, maybe this can be kind of like an introduction into going and looking at art. It's obviously gonna be different than actually being there. Um, seeing art in person is pretty important because it gives us a good idea of scale, which is like how big an artwork is, um, like compared to ourselves. Um, scale can be a really important tool in artwork. It also is important to see things in person because you know we can just see them better. Like obviously online, um, it's not gonna be as good as if I was actually up looking at that painting, but that's okay because we are having fun doing virtual reality. I think it'll, this should be a fun project for you, for you all. The other goal that I have for this assignment is to just give you all a refresher on the elements of art. We're gonna kind of dive into some of the principles of design to, uh, next because you're in art too. So um, we'll be talking about those. Um, I know that many of you probably are very familiar with the elements of art, but this project will just help us to um, kind of refresh our memories because it's, you know, even if you were in art last semester, like it's been a whole summer in between. Um, so maybe you need a little bit of a refresher on those and this will be a great opportunity to refresh our minds about it. So we are going to do a scavenger hunt through the galleries, you're gonna click around and try to find all the different elements of art in paintings. So I'm recording this video, obviously, for those of you who are learning online, who are remote learning right now. And I am in class, I will be giving like an introduction to this project, but also the galleries, because if we actually were at Crystal Bridges or the momentary, um, they would likely, bring us to a um, like the beginning of the exhibition and they would maybe talk to us about the galleries and the exhibition itself. So I'm kind of like playing that role right now, um, introducing you to the galleries. So some of you may be familiar with Crystal Bridges. It was built, it was opened in 2011. Um, they just opened the Momentary. The Momentary is a new art museum that opened this year. They're both in Bentonville, Arkansas. Here's a picture of downtown Bentonville. Crystal Bridges is, um, the, the museum focuses on art made in America and on nature. Um, obviously, we're kind of settled in the Ozarks here in Northwest Arkansas. So um, when Crystal Bridges was being made, they really noticed that they wanted to focus on that, like to focus on the natural beauty of the space. And if you look at the kind of architecture, like the way that Crystal Bridges would, was designed, you can see that that design itself really exemplifies that 
because they are in the woods um, and in all of this green space in Bentonville. The momentary um, is it's it's technically a satellite location of Crystal Bridges. It is a place for them to house a lot of their contemporary art and also for them to focus on visual and performing arts, culinary experiences, and festivals. So the momentary, well, okay, let me say it this way. Crystal Bridges has a lot of a lot of artwork from a lot of different times. Um, the momentary is kind of putting its focus on contemporary art. And contemporary art is the art of today. So that means that it was pr produced in the second half of the 20th century or in the 21st century. So the art that's being made right now is um, what the momentary is kind of specializing in. Um, State of the Art in itself is an exhibition that kind of surveys the artists working in America right now. Um, they, Crystal Bridges did this exhibition in 2011 and selected a whole bunch of artists from all over the United States and then brought their work in and it kind of painted a picture of what art looked like at the time. And so now it's almost a decade later, we're in 2020 and they decided to do it again. Um, they drove around to meet hundreds of artists around the country. Um, maybe they flew, I don't know if they drove. <laughs> Um, but they met hundreds of artists around the country and then went to their studios, interviewed them, talked to them about their art and looked at their artwork. And then um, the curators probably all got together and decided um, the artists that they wanted to feature in the show. So this show that we're going to look at and experience has 61 artists and the curators kind of decided that all of these artists worked in one of four themes. Um, and these themes are relevant to the time that we are in right now and what artists are making right now. So they are real and fictional spaces, home, family, and immigration, landscapes, and time. So this exhibition focuses on those four themes. And I will show you where to find in the exhibition space a little more detail about the themes. So the rest of the PowerPoint is for you to kind of go through yourself. Right here, we have a quick refresher on the elements of art. This is what our kind of worksheet and reflection spot is going to ask you questions about. Um, so you should look at that. Um, let me show you this. So when you get to Crystal Bridges virtually, you will select self-guided tour. If you have your volume up, there's like a uh, some audio here, like somebody's talking to you about the exhibition. You should totally listen to that. Very informative information. But you will click enter. And then you will be in the exhibition. So basically, um, I think, I hope all of you are cool with navigating this. I think you will be because you probably have played a video game before. Um, but this little circle, this little dot on the ground, it'll follow your mouse. That's basically like where you are trying to go next. You can grip it and move around or you can click and actually move around the gallery. If you see an artwork that you like, you can click on it. I'm gonna click on this one and it'll take you to it and you can read more about it here. Cool. Um, you should go all the way through this Crystal Bridges exhibition and then you will see a button that says, visit the momentary, click on that, go all the way through the momentary exhibition. You should spend about 30, 30 ish minutes just looking through here, like, um, walking through don't even look at the project prompt yet like just okay that's a lie you need to look at project prompt number one i'll show you that but don't go on to number two and three um until you look around get a good look at everything so that you kind of know where everything is at um so this is our workbook this will be on our google classroom this task number one is the one thing you should be looking at for those like 30 minutes or so. 
Um, this is just an opportunity for you to be able to write down and think about the art that you're seeing um, in a, a very brief way. So for example, I'm walking around the gallery and I'm really interested in this work, um, like right off the bat. I would write down the name of the artwork. I would delete this and write down the name. And then I'd write the name of the artist. And then right here, I would type like why I liked it. So personally, I'm drawn to this artwork because of the color palette. Um, I really like how sleek it looks. I like the symmetry in the image. So those are some things I could write down right there. Um, I hope you are, like more than four artworks catch your eye in this exhibition, but I just left room for four spaces so that you can talk about four of those. This can be very brief. Um, it's just good for you to kind of keep note of what you're looking at. Okay, so, and down here, I just want you to reflect on this. This can just be like one to two sentences, um, more if you want, but it just like kind of, kind of a comment on your first thoughts of the exhibition as you're walking through. So the next part is where you will find the elements. Um, I want you to find at least four elements through this scavenger hunt. So let's see, I, let's say I chose this artwork. I see shape. So there's a circle, there's a half circle. There are a lot of shapes in this artwork and it's very evident. So I would type in the name of the artwork, the name of the artist, I would type in shape and then in description, I would just say this artwork has a, like features a circle. Um, it has a lot of like symmetrical shape. Um, it can be very simple. We are just, you know, trying to get a refresher on the elements so that you all are, you know, confident in your ability to kind of spot the different elements and therefore use them in your artwork. So this can be pretty brief. The final thing you'll do on this worksheet is just write about your final comments. Like, what did you think about the exhibition? Um, here, like you can talk about whatever you wanna talk about, but if you can't think of anything, I have written a few potential prompts for you that you can speak on. I would like this to be a paragraph. So like maybe four to five sentences or more if you can. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the, that's the assignment. Um, I really hope that all of you have fun with this. It's been fun for me to make, and um, I've had fun looking through the galleries and thinking about all of it. So let me know if you have any questions or if you're having trouble with anything, or if you're having trouble navigating this, um, like if your internet is spotty or something and I can, work with you, we will figure something out. Um, but yeah, this should be kind of a fun activity for us before we start to talk about the principles and make our first art assignments this year. All right, so let me know if you have any questions, you can email me and I will see and talk to you soon.